pool started in 1978. It's a privately owned or family run swim school and it's uh, evolved over the decades and it's even evolved from one generation to the next. During that time we've taught tens of thousands of pupils to swim and also during that time the way we operate and the way the water quality has improved has also changed uh, dramatically over the decades as well. I've been teaching swimming now for 50 years. I'm still teaching and still enjoying it. Well, I can go way back to when every blonde child that swam in a council pool had green hair and it was just accepted and everybody knew because of the chlorine. What we're classed as is a medium sized swim school. We average around a thousand pupils a week so the water does cop uh, a fair bit of bather loading. To try and keep the water at a high quality we've had to try and change the systems that we've had in our pump rooms. We now don't smell of chlorine, we don't get burning eyes anymore. Very few now, even those that have the eczema or any sort of skin problems don't have any problems now at all with the water whereas before they used to have to go on the antihistamines quite often when it was just chlorine and acid. Theo's been coming since he was a little kid he's four now and then Izzy's just started she's one uh, but I've been coming here I, I came as a kid my mum and dad brought me here. Over the years we've done a few renovations. Uh, the first major one was in 1999. That was uh, an upgrade of the existing facility to get a roof over the top, to change our heating and also to try and move the pump room and add an additional sand filter in there and to try and get away from hand feeding the pool and we got some automated dosing equipment back then. The usual problems were still occurring and the biggest problem to me was the, the chloramine levels, the byproducts of using uh, liquid chlorine. For years I was hoping and researching to see is there a better way? It wasn't until 2011 when I went to a, uh, a water quality lecture over at Jinder Lee. There was a, a few people talking about the advances in uh, pool technology and the one that struck a chord with me was uh, ozone. From that point on, that was uh, when I started my journey in trying to improve the water quality. It was a big issue in terms of the effect of poor water quality on, on staff, skin and health. And the consequences of itchy skin plus the smell of chlorine on their body actually forced us to lose some staff. And I can understand why would you want to hop in that water and have that smell and the uh, dryness of skin for just doing your job. Having that comfort factor that they can hop in the water and to be honest, there's no consequence. It's just a, a lovely experience and there's no side effects, then that's been a major plus. The pools are always immaculate, the water's immaculate. It's always well looked after and, and everyone's very friendly and, and his favorite is the lollies on the way out. So the kids get out without any red eyes or itchiness or anything like that. They don't even shower, they just straighten their clothes and they're happy for the rest of the day. So that's how we know it's, um, it's a good place and well looked after. For our industry has been a major player in my evolving swim school. Uh, without them, I, I wouldn't have set on this journey, set upon the journey and improved my water. I, I love their products and I love when they innovate and produce new and modern equipment and I always am proud to recommend them to anyone else in terms of if they want to improve their, the water quality for their staff and customers, go and talk to Brower Industries. Oh,